Today we're actually going to be talking a little bit about Linux. Now I know there's a lot of hardcore Linux lovers out there. Unfortunately this video is not for you. This video is for the casual, average, everyday computer user. So first of all, what is Linux? Linux is a free operating system that in many cases is open source and can be fully modified and there are literally hundreds of Linux distributions out there that you can try for your computer. Just like every operating system, some have different benefits than others, and for the casual, average, everyday computer user, there is actually some benefits to Linux. For one, Linux tends to get less viruses because less viruses are created to attack Linux. So you won't get as many viruses as you would with Mac or any Windows operating system. Also, certain Linux distributions are great for old computers, whether it's a laptop or a desktop. It's perfect to give an old computer new life and be able to use modern websites and modern programs on old hardware. And it accomplishes this in a couple different ways. It, in most most cases uses less memory, has less back and processes running, and it actually can utilize the hardware better. So why not use Linux all the time? Well, to be bluntly honest, in most cases and in some Linux distributions, you are sacrificing customization for convenience. There are certain things in Windows and Mac that you cannot change whatsoever, whereas Linux, you can do whatever you want with it if you have the knowledge. Also, software compatibility. Some things that are on Windows and Mac are very difficult to get running on a Linux operating system or just won't run at all. Simple things like drivers that are guaranteed by your manufacturer when you buy a Windows computer are sometimes difficult to find or you have to write your own drivers. So if you want an operating system that can do whatever you want, you are going to sacrifice some convenience. But with that said, that's not what this video is about today. Today I'm going to be teaching you why every household should at least have one Linux disk. Now you can also do this on a USB drive, but for simplicity I'm going to show you how to put it on disk. So why should every household have a Linux disk? There are two primary reasons for this. One, if you ever get a virus on your computer and it renders it useless, if you absolutely positively have to get online or write a research paper or access something at work, you can literally pop in a Linux disk, run the operating system directly from the disk, and then get back online. You can still use your computer even if it's completely infected. Now in some cases, depending on how bad the virus is, you may want to unplug your hard drive before booting off the Linux CD. For the most part, you should be able to put it in, and in some cases, you can still access some of your files. Since we were talking about unplugging the hard drive, another reason why to have this in your household is if your hard drive actually crashes or the operating system has a bad update, it will no longer start. If you still need access to your files and you still need to get online, you can use a Linux boot disk to get in there, still get on the internet, and possibly even still view your files or back them up. So how do I get this CD? Well, it's just a matter of downloading and burning it, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Obviously, to begin this process, we need a blank DVD. We begin by visiting the Ubuntu site, and we're actually going to go to Download and Desktop. As you can see, the requirements here if you meet the requirements, you have a couple different options. Sometimes they'll have a beta version available, but we're just going to go ahead with the uh, standard version. Version. You can donate to the project, but if you pull the slider all the way to the left, you can download it for free. And there it is downloading the ISO file. Once the ISO file is complete, you can open it up and say burn to disk right click and burn to disk and since we already have the blank DVD in there it should it should start up pretty quickly okay gonna go ahead and burn that and once it's done burning you can actually just restart your computer and we're going to go to the boot options every computer is a little different it may be escape um, one of the F keys like F1 or F2 or even the uh, delete key so we're just going to boot off the DVD here. And not sure if you guys can see it, but it says try Ubuntu Linux. And that's going to run right off the disk. Now, just to be perfectly honest, this generally does take anywhere between five to seven minutes 
to boot off the CD. Keep in mind, since it's running off the CD, it's pretty much just using your RAM available on the system board. And it usually picks up everything fairly easily, like the mouse, keyboard, standard video driver, and Ethernet card or Wi-Fi card. And we do have Mozilla Firefox by default on here, and I'm just going to show you that it can visit pretty much any site that you need to visit, whether it be Google, MSN, um, Hotmail, or Outlook, Reddit, even Facebook actually works with this version. And that's pretty much it. So that is how you create an Ubuntu Linux disk so you can get back in your computer, whether it's been disabled because of a virus or a hard drive crash. As always, if you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and have a great one.